Hello there, this is Ahmed Shishman from the Third Room Studios and welcome to the second episode of my show Let's Patch on the Thoman Synthesizer channel. Today I'm going to demonstrate you how to produce synth lead sounds to create this epic big sounding uh, synth leads and um, I'm going to use for this the amazing Polygogo and the foundation oscillator from Verbos Electronics. So yeah, let's get started. I want to create, let's say, a boomy synth lead sound with the Verbos and the Polygogo. What does this mean? I'm, I'm not going to use a sequencer. I'm going to trigger both modules with the Pamela. This means we have on channel one, a gate trigger, which is coming every 16 steps. So first of all, what I'm going to do is connecting all the oscillator outputs of the Verbos. With all, I mean, of course, four outputs, as I have four inputs of my VCA. And I'm going to mix the oscillators. As you see, I have already prepared a pre-patch pre or like um, I have already my settings, how I want to mix them. I would say let leave, let's leave it like this and I'm gonna demonstrate you first of all how it's, this is gonna sound. Um, yes, this means the output of the VCA goes into the amp and tone. Again, amazing filter, I love it. Verbos is not paying me for this. <laughs> it's just a, just a lovely filter. So when I'm connecting this now, you're gonna hear a steady. And of course, the pitch is too high. So let me just get it down on the... Yeah, something like this. So, of course, I want to trigger the signal. I don't want to have a steady lead sound. For this, again, I'm going to use the Zadar. Means I'm going out with the trigger output of the Pamela into the Zadar. And again, going out with the output of the Zadar to generate an envelope into my control voltage of the VCA. And there you have. Yeah, of course this sounds now a bit too sharp. What I want to do is to change um, the richness and timbre of the foundation oscillator. For that, first of all, I'm gonna duplicate the gate sound, the gate trigger signal, yeah. To channel B, as you see, this is another CV modulation waveform, and I want this signal to close the timbre and the richness. Oh, let's go out, and I'm also going to duplicate that sound. I mean that signal, I'm always saying that sound, it's a signal. Yeah, you hear it now? Okay, so this is my first sound and now I want to combine this with the Polygogo. I'm going out with the Polygogo into the Bionic Lester. From there, as a stereo output into the IntelliGel mixer on my second channel. Now, of course, um, what does mean stereo here? First of all, you need to set the filter on stereo. This means channel A is controlling both channels means 
the output and also the filter section. So this is again a steady sound. Um, I'm not triggering the polygogo. What I'm trying to do is to giving more dynamics with the polygogo through LFOs. I want to play with LFOs to give the polygogo more dynamics. Let me show you this, but first of all, let me all connect this cables. This is also it's always a big issue with modular gear. For this, I have um, again my Sync Kermit, and I'm using two LFOs, which are synced in a musical way. You have to decide for yourself what this means. I will show you this right now when I'm patching it. So as you see, the sound is always changing. Yes. So maybe let's listen together with the Averbos. Kind of. Of course, now. Now, maybe the most important aspect is coming now that I want to tune both oscillators so they're playing in tune. So, what I'm doing here, I'm going out with the last output of the Verbos, it's a square output into the sync function of the polygogo and immediately both um, oscillators are going to be synced in they play going to play in tune so when i'm changing here the oscillator sound yes Okay, and another explanation, um, the verbos is going into the IntelliGel and the output of the IntelliGel is going into the delay pedal of the Strymon timeline. I'm using here a nice um, dual delay effect to give the lead sound a bit more space. Um, the, the bionic, the polygogo goes into the IntelliGel and then into the Strymon timeline. The verbos is going into the Cosmics because I've just saw it here, I have this, of course, it's a mono signal. And here is also a send return again on. So I just listen on this. Okay, okay, last but not least, I want to give um, the patch a bit more grit and character. Um, what I'm doing for this is, I'm using the Planar 2 from Intelligel again. It's a very funny module to use actually. It's very fun to play with it. I'm using the X and Y axes. I'm going into the FM input of the Polygogo and the Fold input. And I want to have control over the FM modulation and the Fold means when the sound is opening and closing. This is more like a saturation effect, distortion effect, I would say. And FM is uh, what you typically call FM. Uh, let's hear it. And the last thing I'm going to do is I want also to have with the joystick control over the cut of frequencies of both filters. Yeah, um, just let me explain you how I'm doing this. Um, now I have control over A and B with the joystick. And as you see, I have put the attenuator in the negative direction because I want to close the filters. Yeah. 
and to and to synchronize the joystick with the whole beat. I'm doing my last patching. I'm connecting from the Metropolis the sync out into the gate input. Gate is maybe the wrong word, sync input. So when I'm recording something with the joystick, I can play this in a loop mode in sync. No, you just show me an example. And then I'm just pressing play and it's playing that pattern. Ah, okay, no, it's not playing the pattern because of the mode. Now. Mm -hmm. Now you see. Okay, but I want to make a live demonstration of this. And how is this going to sound with my pre-recorded drum effects and, uh, and uh, patterns. So yeah, let's go into the live jam session. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed uh, the patching session and also the live jam session. Um, again, I'm going to put all sounds um, via download link available in the description below. You can download this and play with the tunes uh, as you like. Uh, enjoy it. And uh, let me know if you have more questions in the comment section. Don't hesitate to ask me anything about modular gear. Uh, what are maybe the best alternatives, because this is actually a quite expensive setup. Um, you can ask me about cheaper gear, which you, where you can achieve maybe the similar um, interesting sounds. And yeah, see you next time.